recipe from Joanna Gaines cookbook, The Magnolia Table. As you can see, we're going to need flour, baking soda, salt, butter, brown sugar, eggs, vanilla extract, and chocolate chips. I have also set out my utensils, some mixing bowls, a spatula, some measuring things, and my ingredients. The only problem I have right now is if you look at that recipe, it makes about 40 cookies. I don't think I can eat 40 cookies. Or can I? I'm actually going to take the recipe and cut it in half. So I'll need to look at each ingredient and divide it by two. So the example I have is two and a half cups of flour. Two and a half. And we're going to be dividing that by two. I can't divide these numbers as they are, so I'm going to change this mixed number into an improper fraction. Remember, you go around the world. Two times two is four, plus one is five. Keep the denominator. I need to change this whole number into an improper fraction as well. Two is the same as two over one. Now I can keep, change, flip, or in math terms, multiply by the reciprocal. So I have five over two. I'm gonna change it to multiplication. And the multiplicative inverse of two is one over two. Now I can multiply straight across. Five times one is five. Two times two is four. So two and a half split in half is going to be one and one fourth, which makes sense because one is half of two and one fourth is half of a half. Okay, I've measured out all of my ingredients and I'm going to set the oven to 350. Now we can start mixing. Start with the flour. measuring spoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one half, oh that's upside down, sorry, <laughs> one half and one fourth because together those make three fourths. Into the bowl. Last but not least, we're going to add our egg. Mmm, yummy. I'm going to stir in the chocolate chips. I would recommend stirring in the chocolate chips with a spatula so that they remain whole chocolate chips. take about 10 minutes to bake. So while we're waiting, I'll remind you how to multiply and divide fractions. My first problem says one and a half times three. Multiplying fractions is actually very easy. You just change any mixed numbers into improper fractions. Two times one is two. So I've got three over two times three. And three written as a fraction is three over one. For multiplying, you multiply straight across. Three times three is nine. Two times one is two. I can leave this as an improper fraction, nine over two, or convert it to a mixed number. Two can go into nine four times with one left over. 
So one and a half times three is four and a half. Now dividing is a little bit trickier. I do need to change these numbers so that they're easy to work with. Three needs to be a fraction. So I'm gonna make it three over one. I'm going to change my division into multiplication. And since I'm using the opposite operation, I'm gonna use the opposite of this fraction. We call that a reciprocal. The opposite of three over four is four over three. So I'm multiplying by the reciprocal. Then I do the same thing, go straight across. Three times four is 12. One times three is three. I expected to get about 20 50.